by embracing the Father's love for men in his human heart, Jesus loved them to the end. For no greater love has man than this. May the peace and joy of Christ be with you today. Love one another as I have loved you. We have once again the great theme of love. St. John Chrysostom says, If love is spread all over, the infinite goodness would be born out of it. We know the, the whole scripture is about love. The creation is about love. God's first promise of the Savior in the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verse 15, which is also known as the Proto-Evangelium, the first gospel, is about love. Calling Noah to prepare the ark to save the humanity, even when God was thinking of washing out the whole humanity because of their sin, is about love. Calling Moses and, and sending him to Egypt to redeem the Israelites from the slavery of Egypt to the promised land, the freedom of the promised land, is about love. And down through the centuries, God sending prophets in different times to call the people to life and love, is about love. And finally, sending His own Son, the best and the most beloved, His only begotten Son, into the world to save humanity is about love. And so John the Evangelist says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that all may be saved. It's all about love. And we know all those things that Jesus said and did and taught are all explanations and reflections of love because he himself is a manifestation of God's unconditional and immense and fathomable love. And Jesus showed his unconditional love on the cross. And he showed this is the true love. This is how you would love. And the previous night Jesus told his disciples about love. And that's what we heard today. And Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you. And there is no greater love than this, that one man lays down his life for his friends. The love towards which Jesus calls us is this. The Catechism of the Catholic Church number 609 teaches us, by embracing the Father's love for men in his human heart, Jesus loved them to the end. For no greater love has man than this, to lay down one's life for his friends. In suffering and death, his humanity became a free and perfect instrument of divine love that seeks and desires only the human salvation. And out of his love for his Father and for men, Jesus freely accepted the passion and death. Jesus invites us to this very love. And this love is to give and to forgive unconditionally, to accept and understand without judgment and without prejudice. And it is a commitment and the sacrifice one endures for the other without counting the cost whatsoever. And today Jesus also tells us, it is not you who chose me, but I chose you. Jesus chooses each of us today to love like him. Jesus calls us today to look around us, to look into our family, to look into our community, in our neighborhood, our society, look 
around the streets that we walk, we will know how to practice the commandment of love that Jesus gives us. Love one another as I have loved you. May the divine love of Christ redeem us. Amen.